way that you can activate the muscles around your rib cage for better core activation as well as a smaller waist. And a lot of us, if you've had babies before, your rib cage will typically flare out. You tend to develop a uh, exaggerated posture from that as well. And if you don't take care of that after you have a baby, no matter how old your baby is, your baby could be 25. Um, if you don't take care of that, the body is going to continue to compensate. And this can lead to a lot of issues with core activation, but it can also lead to having a wide flared rib cage. And that can alter the size of your waist and even the measurements across the midline of the body. So the solution to this is something we call inhale big, exhale bigger. And I cue that in the classes because good breathing, diaphragmatic breathing actually helps you with core activation as well as muscle activation of that entire area. So it's extremely important, but you can work this in to your day. You can add it in a couple of times a day. And I had folks actually need to lose their bra extender. Maybe they had a bra extender for whatever reason. They actually need to go down notches on their band size because they have cinched the muscles around the rib cage. It's not so much a way to trim the waistline as it is to functionally bring in the ribs. You're actually bringing the ribs back to where they're supposed to be. They're not supposed to be flared out super wide. They're supposed to be tucked in nicely for better core activation as well. So inhale big, exhale bigger. How you do it is you actually put your hands, so you would put your thumb around the back of the ribs because the ribs go all the way around the back. Then you're gonna bring your hands around the front. That's for you to feel what is happening with your rib cage. And since you have this course, there's actually the Breathe Better class. You'll be familiar with this if you've already looked at that, but you're gonna have those hands wrapped around. Now, what we do here is we do a big inhale. So big diaphragmatic breath. You're gonna think that your hands are moving side to side, your ribs are moving front to back, and your ribs are moving top to bottom. So the diaphragm is moving top to bottom, side to side, front to back. After that, on the exhale, you exhale Till there is no air left in your lungs and you will feel a a pulling or a pinching around the rib cage and that is because you're tightening and shortening the muscles that are maybe loose around the rib cage you're shortening those tightening those and helping with the activation of that area so hands around remember so inhale let's try this out inhale expanding everything now exhale really big keep going all the air out. Your ribs should be coming in a little bit. Till you feel everything squeeze around the ribs. <coughs> All the way out. You want to keep exhaling until there is no air left in your lungs. That is so good for your diaphragm. It's good for your core. You can do that three breaths a couple times a day. So maybe even if you think breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can do that each meal before each meal to help you with that muscle activation and help you remember to do it, of course. But that's something that you can add in and it will not overtrain you because it's not necessarily a workout. You're not doing a workout every day, three times a day. You're doing a retraining muscle activation method. So let's try it again. We'll do it two more times to give you a feel. Hands around here, inhale. Expand ribs, front sides and back. Now exhale, all the air out, bring those ribs in. Keep going. Keep going, you might shake a little bit. All the air. <laughs> so you almost cough and you can feel all those muscles around engaging. Now let's do it one more time. Hands around the front, inhale, and then exhale big. All the air out. All, all of it, out. <laughs> so until you feel that tightening around your rib cage. That is retraining your core, giving you better muscle activation, and you can actually lose inches around this area of the body just by bringing the rib cage back into alignment. So give that a try.